you know, one of the more hotly anticipated Disney plus Marvel shows that was coming out was Moon Knight. I mean, I still remember the day I was there when they announced the show was going to be happening. There was an electric buzz in the room. Everybody could feel Robert Meyer Burnett's joygasm across the globe. Everybody's happy. Now the show came out. I'll say this. I, I liked it. It didn't live up to its potential, but I liked it well enough. Certainly had a lot of room for improvement and whatnot, but by the end of it, they clearly teased or left a very big open door with that last scene in the limousine, right? They left a big open door for another season, but it was always being touted as a limited series, that this was a one series and done. Now, a little while ago, Oscar Isaac and the director and the showrunner of uh, Moon Knight were in Egypt and did a little video saying, we're in Egypt. What are we doing there? Moon Knight 2? And everybody got really excited about it. Maybe that meant something, maybe it didn't. Well, now Oscar Isaac is confirming that Moon Knight 2 is a possibility. Now, this comes to us. I'm reading this from folks at CBR who's saying Oscar Isaac revealed that discussions regarding a potential second season of the Disney Plus series were already underway. There have been, says Isaac, there have been some specific conversations about Moon Knight season two. He said they were pleasant. The spilling of the details is that there are no details. We don't know if there will be a second season, but we are talking about it. All right, so that again comes to us from Oscar Isaac. So that gives us a better idea about what the state of Moon Knight is right now. Like a, a lot of people thought with that video that they made that they were being dead serious and Moon Knight 2 was already greenlit and they're scouting locations and all this kind of stuff. Well, Oscar Isaac now puts out the rest. So look, we're talking about it. Rob, I think a lot of us kind of came to peace with the idea that Moon Knight was a limited series, of a, a one yeah. and done, maybe see him pop up again in the MCU somewhere. But now Oscar Isaac is saying they are talking about a season two. Do you think there was enough there in the first season that they could build on to, to do a really good effective season two where you turned off by the first season enough that you don't want to see another one? I don't know. What do you think is going to happen? Here? Well, I think there's definitely, look, Os Oscar Isaac can be a great Moon Knight and a great Mark Spector. I don't, I think that the way this series leaned into the, the idea that Moon Knight has disassociative identity disorder came way late in the Moon Knight mythos. Mm. And the Moon Knight that I fell in love with in the, 80s uh was not in the early 80s was not in this show and i understand why they went in this direction kind of an interesting exploration into what that means and i i get all that but there's such a rich history and moon knight moon knight has never has never been a great character he's not had definitive runs of comics i mean he's right. had good runs but no one's gonna be like oh my god this is amazing i mean it was kind of amazing some of it um so there's a lot of potential here, and I would love to see them do. I want to see a, a, a series where Moon Knight can be Moon Knight, as opposed to not knowing who he is and not knowing what happened to him last night or what's going on, and not knowing that two giant Egyptian gods are fighting over the pyramids of Giza, eating the souls of people on the streets of Cairo. That's you know a little much. What do you think is going to happen though? Do you think that yes. at the end of the day they will? I, well, I think you know why because you've got Oscar Isaac. And regardless of whether I liked it or not, his performance was incredible. Yeah, he was he was really and good. He was it. incredible. And they did set up a lot of intriguing stuff. But I have to say, after watching Werewolf by Night, I really wish, you know, Moon Knight was introduced in the pages of Werewolf by Night in 1975. I couldn't help but watch that and think, God, I would love to have seen Moon Knight in that show in black like and white. Like a serialized 50s style kind well, of... Well, I mean, even if... Yeah, like I would do... To me... Moon Knight could be done as a 40. It's Moon Knight is the romantic version of Batman. Even though people would say Batman himself is romantic. But Moon Knight was a monogamous character and his girlfriend Marlene was a big part of his life. And the idea that he's this kind of this romantic film noir 40s character, lean into that and, you know, have Werewolf by Night and have him be part of that whole when the moon rises. Anything can happen. Well, they can't do that now because they've already done season I one. Know. But they can still bring Werewolf by Night back. They could. They can. I think they probably will. All right, guys. Question is for you. What do you think about this? Would you be down for Moon Knight Season 2? Oscar Isaac is now setting the record straight, saying they are actually talking about it, but they're not really far along. Do you think it's going to happen? Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.
Hey guys, we want to take a second to thank the sponsor of this video, Masterclass. You guys know we have been sponsored by Masterclass and we love them here at the John Campia Show for giving us in-depth information on a wide variety of topics from the world's best experts. With Masterclass, you can learn from the world's best minds anytime, anywhere, and at your own pace. You can learn the art of filmmaking from James Cameron, improve your cooking skills from Gordon Ramsay, or learn how to make compelling YouTube videos from Marquise Brownlee. With over 150 classes from a range of world class instructors, that thing you've always wanted to do is closer than you think. I was recently watching through the independent filmmaking course by Spike Lee, and I found it fascinating that not only did he cover the broader topics like working with actors, but he also gets into finer details like working with a cinematographer and how to properly audition a DP for your project. It was fascinating. So guys, I highly recommend that you check it out. Get unlimited access to every class, and as a John Cabia Show listener, you get 15% off an annual membership. Go to Mac masterclass.com slash campia now. That's masterclass.com slash campia for 15% off masterclass.